Yo guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbin. And this isn't really related to the channel, but I just got a new car. If some of you guys may be following me on Instagram, um, it's the Fiat Abarth. And I completely love it, guys. I definitely need to make some videos of me driving it. Um, just kind of doing a quick reveal video using the iPhone because my GoPro's audio is so bad. But, you know, it's kind of a cool little car, you know. It does kind of look like a girly car from the outside, as you can see. It's kind of a goofy-looking car. I'll show you some of the interior, if I didn't lock it. And um, the interior's not too bad. I like the steering wheel a lot. It's got the uh, Barth logo right there. And uh, the, the dash is pretty sick. Um, you got the tachometer kind of in line with the speedometer. And, of course three pedals had to get the manual um, that would just make it not fun if I didn't but yeah the car itself is super fun there's a bunch of space in the front but in the back not so much but yeah guys this car is extremely fun it's a uh, front-wheel drive so I can't really do burnouts or donuts or anything like that um, I bought it used um, it has about 12,000 miles right now, and the previous owner was an idiot. Got a bunch of road rash. I mean, not road rash, uh, curb rash on the rims. So, yeah, I was kind of disappointed with that, but honestly, it doesn't change the performance at all. It just aesthetically looks a little, a little weird, but I can always get new rims. Um, yeah, it's a sweet little car. A lot of people have been hating on it. Uh, kids in my school are like... BJ, are you crazy you got into Barth? But honestly, it is probably the most fun like I've ever had, um, like other than motorcycling. It's it's almost as fun as motorcycling, so you know, I like it a lot, guys. Just wanna do this quick reveal video to give you guys an update about like what I've been doing. Um, maybe I'll be able to set up some sort of camera in the car so you guys can see me drive. And I am honestly the worst person at driving a manual. <laughs> Well, not the worst, but I still have a long ways to go concerning shifting properly, um, being smooth, and stuff like that. So if you guys have any tips for driving manuals, even though I, I understand the gist of it, of course, my bike's a manual. I can drive this around. It's just my shifts aren't always the smoothest. So if you guys have any tips for that, love to hear it. Um, some new vids will probably be dropping soon. And uh, maybe some vids in this. Tell me what you guys think below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Comment below what you guys think. And subscribe. Alright, see you guys.